Hi, it's Marianne of MW's Designs. Thanks for stopping by to check out my video today. I wanted to make a design that would be quick and easy to put on a batch of cards. And mine are going to be thank you cards, um, but they could be used for other occasions too. Birthdays, thinking of you, encouragement cards, or whenever you might need a quick little card. And this is what I've come up with. These are two that I have already finished. And what I've done is I've used 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. I've done a wash in the background, then put some splatters in the corners. Then I um, painted or drew the sentiment and if I drew it, then I painted it, or if I uh, painted it, then I went around with my sparkle gel pen. Then I put a border around the edge to finish it off, and if I wanted to make it even a little bit fancier, I could add some little gems in the corners, or little pearls, and it would add a little finishing touch. And all I did was I attached the, the card to a, a base and then my card was finished. So I'm going to set these aside and I'll show you um, these few that are kind of in progress. And I did them in different colors so that I would have choices depending on the person I wanted to give the card to. And now I'm going to show you right from the beginning with my plain card, with my plain paper, and I'll bring some of my paints over here. I think we'll do the blue one first. I have just um, kind of a medium-sized round brush and clear water. This is going to be a wet and wet technique, technique, so I go across in a diagonal with a zigzag pattern just to get the paper wet. So that's part of the wet part. Then I am using a flat square brush but you could, you, you could use a brown brush for this also. And then my watery paint, and I have blue, which is a mixture of ultramarine blue and viridian. That's one of my favorite combinations. So it's very watery, and I'm just adding a little bit of that wet watery paint to my clear wet uh, water on the, the surface and I really like this square brush because I like the kind of chunky effect that it gives but if you used a rounder brush you would maybe have a little bit different effect anyway that's what I liked so this I would allow to dry then okay I need to find my other blue here. Okay, now I have a, a, a page with the first layer dry and then I'm going to do another layer and this is called glazing when you're putting a, a wet layer on a drier layer. So then I just do a similar pattern and it gives it much more texture and makes it really interesting. Okay, then we are going to do the splatters on the corners. And so that I can contain the splatters and not make a mess all over, I have a cardboard box here. I have lined it with a plastic bag and I'm just recycling some tissue paper. Then I'm 
going to use my, um, let's see, yeah, I'll use my same square brush, but again, you could use a round one, and watery paint, and I'm going to just cap my brush. Okay, I need a wee bit more paint. I don't like to use too much paint. The more paint um, on the brush, in my experience, you will get um, larger splatters. And the um, less paint, you will get smaller splatters. And for this card, I want to have kind of smaller splatters. And I have one there in the middle that I don't necessarily want there. So I will just use a paper towel and um, get it off. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside to dry. And then we are going to move on to one. Let's see, I hope I have another one of those. Okay, we're going to go to green because... Um, I actually don't have another blue one that's ready in this step. So I have my green paint and I'm going to use a smaller round brush. This one is a number five but it has a nice point so that will be good for my lettering. So I want my paint a little bit thicker. This is not as watery as doing the, the watercolor base. And I'm just going to eyeball it and paint on thank you. I actually need that a little bit darker. This is a mixture of sap green and viridian. And then it makes quite a nice green. Okay, let's try that. That should show up. Okay, so I am just printing. I'm working on my calligraphy skills, but I'm not quite there yet. And my printing is actually not too bad. So whatever works. And if you don't want to uh, paint or do calligraphy, you could even use a stamp whatever you find that works for you. Okay. And that's basically it. Sometimes I go over it to make it a little bit darker, but you can do it however you prefer. And we will set that one aside to dry. And I actually have a blue one that I painted the letters on and I'm going to go around it with my blue sparkly gel pen and I like the effect that that gives and you can do it a little bigger than the actual letter if you like you can use you can do whatever effect that you prefer And then just go all around and I think it makes it show up even a little bit better. Okay, and we'll just leave it at that, but um, of course I would finish it. And I'm going to show you how I go around the edge with my blue. What if, okay, this is a good one. This is uh, number six, so it's a little bit bigger too, but whatever size you like. Okay, so um, this is a technique that I learned a while ago from Shada Campbell, and I'll link her channel below. She says that if you want to paint or draw a straight line, pull the line towards your body 
and you can see that it does make a fairly straight line. And I'm going to leave the corners open because I'll show you what I might do to fancy it up. Well, now that wasn't exactly straight, but it works better with a, a pen than a brush. But even with the brush, it can work quite well. Okay, so this corner I actually did just go right around the corner, and that certainly is an option. But if you want to make it a little more intricate at the corners, you can do a little um, thing like that, and maybe a circle. And then that circle can be filled with a gem, if you like. And let's do another one here. Just make a little indentation to join those two parts together. I'm not doing this entirely well, but hopefully you get the idea. It's always a little bit harder when you're doing it on camera. Okay. And then I would attach it to my card base. So I think that shows all the details that I wanted to tell you about. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel but would like to, hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it so you will be notified about upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.